peripheral arterial disease simply is blockage in the arteries in your legs. The symptoms can range from uh, just pain in your calves or in your thighs or even your hips, buttocks area when you walk. Um, usually when you stop and rest, the pain goes away and when you walk again, it comes back. And the blockage gets worse. You could get pain in your leg or usually in the tops of your feet. Ulcers or sores on the feet, gangrene on the feet, and that can lead to amputations. One would be age, 50, 55 and older. The other would be smoking, because smokers and smoking causes plaque and plugs up arteries, not only in your legs, but elsewhere. Diabetes is a big one, so people with diabetes get plaque and hardening of the arteries, uh, and high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Those are the risk factors. Treatment for PAD can be either medical, it can be surgical with bypasses, or it can be endovascular with minimally invasive needle puncture in the groin, balloons and stents and wires and catheters. I think the advantage of the vascular surgeon is that we can do all those uh, three things. If a patient comes to me and they need medical management, I can treat them medically. If they need a bypass, I can do the bypass. And about 90% of the time, people that need treatment, we can accomplish that uh, endovascularly with the minimally invasive technique. So we can do all things under the vascular surgery umbrella. For the endovascular approach to PAD, the recovery period is very short. You know, that's, again, that's a minimally invasive, just a needle stick in the groin. Sometimes patients have to stay overnight, uh, but they can go home the next day. If you do it with the robot, uh, you know, there's in this new endovascular robot that we now have here at Delray Medical Center. Uh, most of those patients can go home just a few hours after the procedure. So the recovery time is, is very short with the endovascular treatment.